Daddy, what's an example of minority rule? What? What's an example of minority rule? Daddy, having a baby in the house. Do you have a Bible passage? Oh, yes, a very good one. Repeat. Matthew 7. Matthew 5, 6, and 7 is the Sermon on the Mount. When Christ gathered all of his disciples around them up on the mountain and taught them these very valuable lessons. And Christ is still trying to teach them to us. But Matthew 7, verse 11 is, Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That's the same as when all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is how did you treat others, isn't it? Okay. Bible passage. Him. I love to tell the story of unseen things above, of Jesus and his glory, of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story because we know it's true. It satisfies our longing as nothing else can do. I love to tell the story. T'will be my theme in glory. The old, 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 old story of Jesus and his love. Word. Uh-oh. What word are we trying to learn? Acumen. Keenness. Keenness. In practical. And in intellectual matters. What did the man say when he said, if I ever have a heart transplant, I want the heart of my boss? Why? It's never been used. And why should you always be respectful of your undertaker? Do you know why? He's the last person in the world to let you down. Events of yesterday. Amy really wants her sister's discarded mountain bike. So we'll stop trying to get Amy a bicycle and we'll try to get the mountain bike fixed. All right, Phil, Amy, what are the steps of that? Find out the three places that you've listed yesterday where they fix mountain bikes. Uh, call up and make an appointment. Get an estimate. And go have it done. And I'll try to pay for it. Franklin, will you pay for it, please? Getting Amy's mountain bikes fixed. The weather is an event yesterday. Beautiful. September. Two more weeks of summer. Make the most of it. Uh, we gave $50 to Susan White out in San Diego County, California. She has to move. Doesn't get along with the owner of the property. You know that story. Uh, $10 to Hudson Mohawk 
Humane Society. Ten dollars to American Legion. Three boxes of vegan cookies to BJ. Patrick and his mother. Phil didn't get out of the grocery store until 9.30, yes, and he loves to grocery shop. And thank heavens he was doing it on a volunteer basis instead of getting paid $15 an hour from Consumer Direct or from me. Glendora, do you owe any money? No, I don't owe anybody any money. Glendora, do you have any pains? No, no, no pains. No doctors, no hospitals, no medicine. Don't you take a leave anymore? No, I didn't take a leave the whole month of August and I got through with it. Are you taking it now? No. I'm going to see if I can get by without it. No medicine, no doctors, no hospitals, no ambulances, no nurses. And Margaret Rogers, you are the best yet on the Christian Science Practitioners that I have heard on con what's the name of it? Sentinel Watch. And there's a new Sentinel Watch this morning. Comes in Saturday new. And Margaret Rogers, uh, I need a copy of you. Can you get that for me on a CD player? I'll pay you whatever you want for it. Did the work get done? Yes, the work is done. And the Happy House 3 is in pretty good shape. And I hope that Patricia Pittsfield will put on the finishing touches this morning. The outside hall, the bathroom, the shower, the inside hall, the sweep the floor diligently. Queen Elizabeth died, but I've never been one much for royalty. I believe in the Declaration of Independence. I really don't care for monarchies. Divine right of kings, baloney. Um, everybody has an equal chance. Divine right of kings. And Pittsfield Patricia Go through the kitchen cupboard and list the inventory. Write it out so you'll be able to read it to Glendora from the think folders. Make sure that the uh, refrigerator is cleaned of any spoiling food and make sure, please, that it's all wiped out clean inside and the same for the freezer. That is the most lovable refrigerator. Glennie's been here 12, 13 years and it's never missed once and it's never stopped once. Glennie crashed into a hundred pieces the glass shelf that was above the uh, crispers but it turned out to be a good thing because I suggested and strongly really insisted that they replace it with a piece of plastic. You know, plastic shelving. So nothing breaks again. Patricia Pittsville. Scrub the floor. The toilet brush it's all been scrubbed and soaked and fresh, refreshed, 
just as clean as can be. That's all. And Phil, will you do another four or five drawers in the electronic bench? And uh, Vicki, when you come over, will you do your three boxes of camcorders, connectors, uh, uh, character generators, and all that technical equipment? We're reading Franklin's writings of the year 1959, the fourth year he was a reporter after being graduated from the Boston University School of Communications Department of Journalism, where Franklin was a classmate of Martin Luther King, Boston University. which was once a Methodist school, Methodist church, to train ministers, to train people, to, when all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is how did you treat others. To train people to do unto others as they would have them do unto them. Matthew 7. Chapter 7, verse 11, Sermon on the Mount, New Testament Bible. What else? And that helping people and that giving away money and that and Amy rather have a mountain bike than a bike trying to put their wants first and trying to help them do them. That just clears you out inside. Everything's perfect inside. When you do those things, just as Margaret Rogers says, unself, unself ourselves. We'll unself us, right? No self. We'll think what can be done here that is loving. Where is the love underneath this bad happening? Where is the love underneath it? Find the love. What else happened yesterday? Did you get the work done? Yes. The work is all done. The details? Yes. The holy agenda? Yes. How about the trust? The trust is okay. How much money is there in the bank? Twenty-two hundred? No, twenty-one hundred dollars. And that's in the bank under the uh, uh, what should we call it card? Debit card. How much is in the pocket? A couple of hundred. How much is in the rent money for the museum? Sixteen hundred and eighty-five, enough to pay the rent in the museum for two years. Oh, that's another thing we did. We paid the rent for the museum for the month of September. Where are you in volume P, Paul, of the World Book Encyclopedia? We finished reading about plants. Oh, it's so exhilarating to read about plants and their body functions, how they're vascular or not vascular, and how they make seeds and how they make roots and how they grow and how they reproduce and how they have families and how they have color and how they have flowers. Did you enjoy the pictures off of the calendar that we made you yesterday? I would think you did. Where are we in the Compton's Encyclopedia? Volume S, as in Sam. I love reading about God. 
That's what an encyclopedia is. It's about the wondrous things that God does. People, art, plants, animals, the heavens, chemistry, physics, And we must get the medical alert. Have you heard the medical alert? It's a grand thing. It's 24-7. It's what the owner wanted. 24-7. Helping others, you'll enjoy it. Satisfaction guaranteed. Calling for help. Calling for help. It's longer than usual. Usually it's 10 seconds. Hello, this is Tammy with Connect America. Do you need help for medical assistance? No, thank you. Okay, so just to confirm, no one that uses the system needs help, is that correct? Uh, Glendora Buell. Okay, thank you, Mary. No one needs help, is that correct? And nobody else here needs help either. Okay, thank you, ma'am. I'll mark this as a false alarm. You have a great day. Thank you very much. I was demonstrating it on TV. Okay, well, you're welcome, ma'am. You take care and have a great day. You too. You too. Bye-bye, dear. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Take care. Goodbye. It's a great comfort, and Medicaid pays for it. And do you think we did the right thing? This is four or five years old, and it's worked every time. If you don't answer, they call you on the telephone. And that's not so good because you may not always be able to get to the telephone. Oh, you could carry your... Uh, The cell phone. Anyway, it's never failed in four or five years. And so Pat and I decided, Pat Nichols, Sar, and I decided that we needed a new one. That may be a wrong decision because, you know, like cars, the old cars are better than the new cars, and the old Medical alert may be better than the new one, but we decided we'll try to install it this afternoon. Okay, I think that's everything, folks. Come now, all happiness, helping the world we go, caring and sharing. Happy, all glorious, or all victorious. Gone is the selfishness. Ego is out.